Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to plot shear moment diagrams on C bar and C beam elements in a uh, map. So first thing you guys always want to do is uh, define your material and uh, properties, you don't have to do it later when we're building the model. Uh, but define just a simple uh, beam structure that's fixed on one end. So I'll make a node at 0, 0, and then I'm going to move over 10, and I'll move over another 10 with the node make two elements uh, then we'll go ahead and create those elements C bar move one to two and then I'm going to make sure uh, we define our orientation vector in plane one of the uh, element we're trying to make if you guys recall how C bar is and uh, C beams are orientated. So as long as it's pointing, the vector is pointing in the right direction. Uh, an easy way to do that is methods. I just global axis because we're on the we're on the axes right now. Uh, and the positive y bring me that. Press OK. Make sure we, uh, sorry, make sure we're looking at our element here. Do the same thing for the next element. Select element node 2 to 3 is element 2. And then make sure our orientation is in plane 1, which I want to be up for the C bars we're making. Go ahead and press OK and press OK. And now we have our elements made. Uh, make sure you constrain them. I'm just going to do nodal. Good example. Okay, for the title, select our node. Make sure node one on the left. And then we're gonna call this fixed, and we're gonna fix it. Press OK. See our constraints. And then we're gonna load it. <clears throat> I'm gonna do uh, a distributed load. So if I do a load elemental, call it a new example. Select element one and two. It's okay. Call this distributed. And then select distributed load down here. We'll do a downwards load, so negative 100 and negative 100. Press OK. And we want the direction of the element Y. And element Y means the way we orientated it which is the Y, so that's why we aligned it with the global axis, so whether I did global or element wouldn't matter, but we'll do element Y, it's okay. We see it downwards, distribute load of 100, it's fixed. We run analysis. I have one here, which I'll go ahead and just delete it, and we'll make a new one. We just title that example, static, next. Uh, it doesn't quite matter, next. Uh, and then auto SVC current points. These are all good for just regular simple analysis right here. Uh, these can be left blank. This can be left blank. And just say hi people if we want for the labels. Same thing as if we were writing a BDF. And then make sure your constraints are that constraint uh, set we made and the uh, example is the example load set we made. Everything else can be left blank unless you're doing some a different type of analysis. And next, we want displacement load, constraints, forces, stresses, the contact. That's all fine. And then results destination. If you guys want to make sure you're getting an FO6 file, uh, you guys got to make sure it's print and prose process. You can do print only if you want, but print and prose process works. Press OK. And uh, then we can go ahead and analyze our model. You can select FO6 to see it. We can load our results. We have no fatal errors. So if you guys go up here to this deform button, you guys can actually click deform. And if it says no data available for processing, uh, it means that the data isn't inside the model yet for it to show you what's going on. So if you guys go ahead and click view up here, hit select you guys can have, you'll have this window pop up, 
you're going to want to click to form and we're going to be showing we don't want to contour it right now but we're going to show a beam diagram so if you guys click that to form the contours data button you're going to click the set that we made so we want the case that we just ran deformed uh, we'll do translation so show it uh, how much it deforms and for the contour it all it really just means uh, the beam diagram or whatever you select on that right side and if we want to show the bending on the elements uh, we're going to do bar and a plane one which is where we put the orientation vector for the C bar so it's in plane one so plane one and we'll go ahead and click OK and then we'll click OK here and then you guys can see our, uh, our moment diagram for the model that we've made <laughs> and if you guys want to see the shear force diagram we go ahead go back up to view select do the same thing here to form the contour data and then you guys can go to the shear force and A or end bead sometimes it matters uh, for this case it doesn't uh, and plane one P1 shear force and you can leave the transformation if you liked and hit OK and OK and now we have our shear uh, diagrams here changed a little bit and uh, usually I don't have to form on when I'm showing this but be, once you guys have these imported to the model and knows what to look for uh, you guys can just click these buttons up here no contours just plain model it deformed animation uh, or you guys can click the contours if it's not showing up it's just giving you uh, you know colors just go back to view select and beam diagram oh my apologies this button only does contours so don't don't hit that button if you guys are wondering uh, shear force will do NB plane one hit OK and hit OK and it shows the same thing uh, yeah so if you guys want your beam diagram make sure you guys are going to that view button and uh, yeah, that's how you guys make a share and moment diagrams and fee map on your model. Thanks. Hope that helped.